Okay, so we're back again, back in the Achillea Garden for our third upload today. If you haven't seen them already, the first one was with Miche, artist, absolute brilliant artist. That we, we talked about Gareth Bale, we're outside the Spurs Stadium, talking about the transfer, what it means to the club, what it means to the fans. Don't mind the dog in the background. <laughs> um, but yeah, we talked about that. It was a great video. I scheduled it for 6 p.m. Just so happened the announcements were happening around then. No one had a clue. I expected it not even to happen today at this point. So I said, you know what, I'm going to release that video. But it did. Sergio Reguilón was announced at 5.45, Gareth Bell at 6 p.m. And I can tell you Spurs fans are hyped right now. Spurs fans are hyped. We have signed two quality players. Well, one, Bale being world class. And Sergio Reguilón is a brilliant, brilliant prospect for Spurs. The fact that we managed to take him from Man United as well is huge. Um, so just to give a bit of details about the transfer, I believe it's a five-year contract and uh, they've got a buyback option. Real Madrid have a buyback option. He was at Sevilla last year, but that was on loan. Managed to beat Wolves, Man United and Inter Milan in the final to win the Europa League while he was uh, away on loan. Um, but like I said, it's a five-year deal. They've got a buyback clause, which if history tells us anything, they, they will recall it after two years because they might see if he does become an incredible footballer that he's supposed to be, um, his value will increase massively and they might want to buy him back for, I think, 45 million euros is the quoted amount. We've paid 30 million euros. Um, yeah, 45 million is the quoted amount they'll get back because they might think we can sell him for 60 mil or something if there's a, if there's a buyer um, because they've done that with quite a few players. But the good news is they shouldn't want to recall him to be their left back because they've got Furlan Mendy. Um, who they see as being ahead of him and as a quality left back. So he shouldn't be recorded for that. It would only be to sell on to another club, um, which, but it could well happen, but that's after two years. What we have to realise now as Spurs fans is that we're in a current situation where we're on a very short-term project. Mourinho is a short-term manager at most clubs he's been to, but he's there to win trophies. That's what we need right now. Spurs fans need, well, the Spurs club, needs trophies we've done the big rebuild with Pochettino and bringing the players the training ground the the stadium we've done all of that and now it is time to get that to get that elusive trophy that's that's been escaping us for quite some time now um so I think at the end of the day if worse comes to worse they do recall him in two years time we it shouldn't be a problem for us because hopefully we would have won the trophies by then hopefully we would have taken us to the next level um, which is the idea um, if he's around for Mourinho's tenure brilliant if they recall him back we basically made profit so they paid us for a loan basically all we're doing is paying his wages which is not going to be anywhere near as much as some of the top earners at the club so for me it's a very very smart deal a lot of Man United fans were spreading salt everywhere about the deal with Sergio Reguilón but that, I think that's because they're in a different situation to us if you think about it they're really looking for a long-term left back. So they're probably really worried about the buyback clause because they might have in the future and they don't want to be made like looking like mugs against Real Madrid, but it's not the case for us because we don't need necessarily a long-term left back. We've got Sessegnon that we're trying to convert to a left back like we did with Danny Rose. And we've got the young Sirkin or Kirkin, however you pronounce it, in the academy. Those will be our long-term left backs going forward. We need quality left backs now because sadly Davis is not putting in the right performances for us. We need them now, whereas Man United um, are looking to more develop their squad going forward. Um, so they weren't willing to accept it. We were. Brilliant news. That now means that Spurs have a brilliant attacking outlet on the left-hand side. Because a lot of you fans may not know him that well, but he's a very, very good attacking left back. Um, Bale says it himself in his first interview. He says, we're really excited to see that he can put brilliant crosses in, um, that he's very quick. And that's something we don't really have with Ben Davies. Right now, I explained it in the video, like I said, with Mitche, artist, that we are quite one-dimensional right now and very easy to read because, and I'll tell you why, this is because Spurs players sorry, not Spurs players, the, the Spurs system is that we would attack with Serge Aurier, or now it would be Doherty, attack with them on the right-hand side in the right wing, and Ben Davis would slot in as a third centre-back, going from left-back to a third centre-back. Or even if Ben Davis were to go up attacking, he hasn't really got the same end product to, to cross the ball in and find the players. It's not been working for us that well. So now the fact that you're telling me we can have Reguilón and Son 
very pacey, very attacking-minded left side. That is quality as it is. And then you're telling you've got Doherty and Bale potentially on the right, or even if Bale beh plays behind Kane and you've got Bergwijn on the right, we've got pace, we've got attacking prowess, and I'm really, really excited to see how we start playing football because we are now no longer one-dimensional. We're not just attacking the right flank. We now have options on the left as well, or even down the middle. Sorry, low battery on my thing there. Or even down the middle when you've got players like La Celso or even Undombele feeding balls through. It is a very, very, very exciting time for Spurs fans right now because we've got an incredibly, incredibly good prospect at left back in Sergio Reguilón who should be able to produce now given the fact he's already won the Europa League and can kind of bring that winning mentality and almost that winning experience while being so young. But then, of course, you've got Gareth Bale, who's 31, who's also won four Champions League trophies, three of them being in a row, um, scoring in the finals himself with overhead kicks and everything. And what he begins to offer is, uh, is, is fantastic. So the way I see our team shaping up right now is Lloris in goal, Doherty right back. I would say centre-back should be Sanchez and Toby and Reggie on left back. In an ideal world, I think the middle three would be Hoiberg sitting, holding, breaking up play, and then Undombele and Lo Celso as centre mids. But it's at the moment looking unlikely. So I, it, you're probably going to see something like Sissoko and, um, and Lo Celso, or even like Delhi and Lo Celso, something like that. And then a front three of Son, Kane, Bale. And like I said, that can easily change. That could be Son, Kane, Bergvine with Bale behind and then you'll have Hoiberg and Lacelso in the middle or Sissoko and Lacelso, whatever. We finally have squad depth and a different way of attacking by being able to abuse that left flank and that pace and that power through Reguillon and Sonny or even the right side through Doherty and Bale, man. This is huge for us as a club and we're supposedly not done yet because we are supposedly still going for a striker and a centre back, which I think I, I think both of them are very key. We only have um, Kane right now. Okay, Bale can play striker, but we only have Kane as an out and out striker at the club right now. I think we should definitely definitely go for someone like Danny Ings would be huge um, for a second striker at Spurs. And regarding centre back, I just don't think obviously Dyer's converting from a DM to a centre back hasn't really worked out. Um, great we know Sanchez could have a couple of mistakes in him and um, Toby it, it depends if he, if it's Toby from the start of last season then we're in trouble if it's from the restart Toby then fantastic news but yeah man I'm sorry like I was trying to get back onto the Reguilón signing brilliant signing brilliant young player um, Spanish quality starting to get into the Spain side um, as first first choice left back which is good news for him and I'm just really 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 excited to see how Spurs play now because it should be a lot better quality and uh, not long to go but hopefully some more signings to come so if you guys are new and you haven't been on the channel before make sure to turn that red button grey that subscribe button we don't want to see any red around here so turn that red subscribe button grey leave a like on the video for our brand new signings and I shall see you guys in the next one Peace.